Hello, in today's video, we are going to build the AWS landing zone on Brainboard. So let's get started. As a first resource, we're going to use the region. Here, we're going to say it's in Ohio. Very good. Then we make it bigger to include a VPC. So we include the VPC here. And then we configure it. So here is going to be default. And here, advanced configuration, we create our first variable. So here is going to be var dot vpc underscore cider. So here we go to input, we have it here string. Here the default is going to be this one, and here the description is going to be this one. So here we close. Now we make it bigger to include the AZ. So we include the AZ here. We're going to configure it so it's 2A. And here we include the first subnet. VPC subnet is this one. And here we configure it. So here is going to be public A. Advanced configuration, the side of block is going to be var.subnet.a. Here we configure it, so it's going to be subnet. Here is going to be a map. The default is going to be this one. And here we close it. And the description is going to be this one, update. So now we make it bigger to include PEP, it's this one, we include it here, and then we configure it. So here the EEP is going to be EP one we close it. So now we make it bigger and here, bigger as well, and we add a NAT gateway. Is this one. Now we configure it. So NAT gateway is going to be this source, and then we close. Here we create the connector. It's going to be range, and here 1.5. Now we add a routing table. And we add it. So here routing table is going to be LTA. And we close it. The subnet, we are going to put the color. It's going to be this one. And here we can say that it doesn't have this name is going to be public. Okay. So now we can make it bigger. To include another subnet. So here we look for subnet. And we include it here. Here is going to be this time private. Say so the block is going to be var dot private underscore subnet a. So here we go. We have this one here is a map. The default is this one. So here we close it. And here the description is this one. Update it. So here we make it bigger to include now. So it's private subnet 
the color is going to be this one. So here we have the color is this one and the border is this. So now we are going to add a row table. Routing table is here and we configure it. So here we configure it. So Then we create the connector between these two resources. So orange and here 1.5. So here we're good. So here it's just so here is C and here is to be okay. So now public subnet is this one. We configure it so here we have the public B here we have B and here we have B. So now we go to input we have this one and here we modify it so here and then we update here we drag and drop here we configure it so it's going to be epb Okay, here we have not so we configure it as well. Here we have no, so this we don't change, but this we change. And here I create the connector between the two. Here and here is going to be 1.5. And here we have a routing table. Here we configure it. So it's going to be a routing table B. And we have it. So now we are going to do the same thing with the private subnet. So here. It's going to be private B. So here we configure it private B. Here is going to be B instead of A. So now we have the private and here we have the B. We update. So now we are good. And now we add the row table. Just need to modify the dimension of it. Here, row table is going to be this one. So now, this lagba, like and here we add the connector. So here we add the connector. Perfect. Now we can make it bigger. And here we're good. And here we add very easy. Yes. So here we can put it like that. Here we modify it C, let's see. And here is B. No, here. Sorry, it's not B, it's C. This one is B. Yeah. So this one public subnet. So the last one here I'm going to say is public C and here is not B, it's C.
so here we add it. Now we add the EEP. We configure it. So here we configure it is EPC. Now map gateway. We have it like well. So here we configure it as well. We create the connector between the two. It's going to be here. Man and that okay. And now we have a road thing table. And we have it here. Perfect. So here we are going to LTC. Okay, so now we have it here. Here we add the routing table, but we need to configure first. So here we are going to add routing table, this one, but this one we need to modify it. So here we modify it. So here is private C and here is C. Now we go see the variable, we have private C here, we need to add it, so here, and then the date, and then we add the connector between, of course, these two resources, so here I have the connector there, and here I have 1.5, okay, now we need an internet. In the VPC. So here we can add it like that. No worries. Here. We can make it a little bit bigger. And now we have internet here. So here we have the connector. Here and here we have the connector as well. Here, now we have connectors here, so it's going to be connector. So, with this one, we can say this one, we can say. Yes, and here so here we have the connector here one point five. Here we have the connector. here and here and then same thing for this one and the connector between the three resources here we have the connector and here so actually something like that and then we can do a plan here Brembo will do the terraform init and the terraform state lock everything should be green it means that the terraform code is actually ready to be deployed and here you can deploy it directly there I hope this video has been useful for you and have a good day.